Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Matt. I do regular music reactions. I'm also a guitarist and songwriter in the band Master Sword. We are a female-fronted progressive power metal band, uh, and we sing about The Legend of Zelda. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, um, certainly you can check the link above. But today, we are here with another Arion reaction. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, I've been doing a lot of them lately because I'm going through the entire The Source album. Um, last time we left off, it was on the song Aquatic Race, and it sounds like they're all taking uh, some crazy chemical drugs and transforming their bodies and minds and kind of uh, ascending, if you will, into um, almost godhood, I guess. A very interesting concept. Um, it sounds like they need to do it in order to survive on this new planet they're traveling to because their old planet was taken over by crazy robots. So I'm curious uh, where it goes from here. I've said that before many times, uh, but we're we're over halfway through the uh, the album at this point, and I feel like if something interesting or out of left field is going to happen, now's the time, right? I hardly think they're just going to get to this new water planet uh, perfectly adapted and, you know, have a good time from there. Uh, <laughs> I think some kind of conflict has to occur um, based on, you know, the way plots usually go about. So maybe that'll be today. I think I'm going to go through a few songs today. Most likely, uh, The Dream Dissolves and Death Cry of a Race. So, already there, you can see something um, not so great is coming up. <laughs> of course, musically, it's going to be great. But plot-wise, uh, there's going to be some problems, I'm sure. So, before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know, I am on Patreon if you want to help support the channel. I do really appreciate that a lot. Uh, I have a bunch of tiers. The lowest one's a dollar, and uh, that gets you access to polls and exclusive videos. And uh, I have some higher tiers too. If you have specific songs you want me to react to, I can get those uh, for you. So, thank you to everyone who's backed me so far. And let's jump into Arion with their song, The Dream Dissolves. Starting off with that big, thick synthesizer sound. That flute again. Somewhat Celtic, but not as much as the previous sections. Give me a little callback. God, this feels so dark and oppressive. Not exactly a happy, festive song after changing their bodies, so. I wonder if it's not going as planned. Oh, here we go. In their sleep, the former Alphans dream of the beautiful world that awaits them when they awake. Oh, 
That was a great transition. That one of the best transitions so far, I think. they mean by the dream dissolves is that a foreshadowing maybe or is that just very literal the synthesizer solo oh my god hmm. that is a beautiful tone Give me all the 70s prog. guitar. It sounds very Petrucci-esque. little licks at the end. <laughs> that might have been one of my favorites uh, on the uh, album so far. Okay. Suddenly they're Jethro Toll. This is straight Toll right here. After many years, the ship reaches Sira, and when the crew awaken, they mourn for their former race, as Alpha has surely come to an end. the singer's name, but he has such swagger in his voice.
Okay, so they're just they're crying for all their um, friends and family they left behind. I kind of doubt it, <laughs> but we'll see. Suddenly, it's very classical. Opera. Ooh. What a juxtaposition. <laughs> Two very different styles of singing. Ian Anderson. And another Arion the Source video down. Um, honestly, that might have been my favorite so far. That those were two incredibly strong songs, uh, especially the first one, which was uh, the Dream Dissolves. Um, I know it was probably more instrumental than a lot of the other tracks on the album, but those two solos, the synth one and then the guitar one after that, that that was. That really hit me hard. I love good solos. Not like, they were definitely flashy solos, especially the guitar one. I'm very curious who that guitar player was, whether it was Aryan or if it was a guest. Um, but it was flashy in a way that sounded classy. Flashy yet classy. I really enjoyed it. It definitely reminded me of John Petrucci a lot. All right, I just looked it up, and the guitarist who played on that solo is Marcel Conan from the band Suncaged, which is um, definitely a group I will be checking out <laughs> because that was fantastic. That was one of the best guitar solos I've heard in a while. Um, so yeah, guys, this this album is incredible. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot because I say that at the end of like every one of these videos, and at the beginning too, honestly. But this is just a great album, and I'm really glad I can share in this journey with you guys um, for the first time. So thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you could, and I will catch you next time. Bye.